In this video, I'm going to be overviewing and installing Google Analytics. So what is Google Analytics? Google Analytics is a way to track your website visitors. So it's basically a way to track people on your website. For example, if you have a website here, uh, wouldn't it be really good to know how many people are coming to your website and what sort of links they're clicking on? That's what Google Analytics uh, tells you, plus a whole lot more data, like where the people are coming from. Maybe you're getting a lot of traffic from Facebook, or maybe you're getting a lot of traffic from Twitter. It would be really good for your marketing to know uh, what is working and what isn't working. So that's really cool, and Google Analytics will show you how to do that. So first, I just want to do a real uh, quick overview of what Google Analytics looks like. And so all we have to do is go to google.com slash analytics. All right, and once we do that, we can sign in. And because I already have an account, uh, it's just going to show up like this with all the different websites I, I have and I'm tracking. So I'm just going to, under my learn how to create a website, website I'm going to click all website data. So here's our dashboard or overview. And uh, what this number will show you is how many people per day are coming to the website. So I have about 400 uh, people about coming to the website daily. And uh, it has a lot of different information here. Um, how many unique visitors, um, how many on average pages people visit, and how long they stay for. So that's very, very interesting. Uh, another interesting thing is um, your traffic sources. So we can go to traffic sources and here we can see that uh, we get most of our search from referral traffic uh, which means from an, another website or and direct traffic which means uh, people directly type in your website name or search traffic. So we can uh, see that if we click on sources and click all traffic, we, we can see that YouTube.com uh, sends most of the visitors with um, 6,300 over the month. And then we have direct, which is 4,000, and then Google, which is uh, 881 throughout the month. So this is really, really, really interesting stuff. Uh, obviously, people write entire books on all of this, but the main things are is uh, how many people are coming to your website, where they're coming from, and the last thing, what kind of uh, pages they're looking at. So when it has a, a slash like this, it means the main page, and if it has uh, uh, everything else is your other pages. So under my free website giveaway, I have a lot of people interested in that, my about section, people are interested in that, and my uh, book, downloading my free book. So people are interested in that. So it's really cool to see what people are interested in and what people aren't interested in and where people are coming from and how many people are coming to your website. So that's you know the real basics and uh, that's where you're gonna get the most valuable insights. But also, you know, there's a whole, whole lot more stuff. But anyways, if you have a WordPress website, like I hope you do, then uh, it's pretty easy to install Google Analytics, and the first thing you need to do is just log into your WordPress website. So, just gonna go in here, and since I'm already logged in, I'm just gonna go to the dashboard. And uh, what's different is that if you already have an account, it looks different than if you have a new account. So I'm gonna show you what a new account signup looks like, so that we're all on the same page. All right, so the first thing we need to do is, if you don't already have a Google account, uh, you can just go ahead and get one. So you can go to google.com slash analytics, and you can either sign in or create an account. I do recommend having a Google account uh, for email and for all their other services. So we can go ahead and press create an account or uh, sign in. Since I already have a Gmail account with them, I'm just going to click sign in. And I'm going to put my uh, new email in here and password. All right. So I'm just going to sign in. 
And this is what a new uh, Google Analytics uh, sign up will look like. So just click sign up. And web is fine because you're not doing an app. And put in your website name. I'm just going to put simple is key and your website URL. So I'm going to put www.simpleiskey.com. And is that the URL? Actually, it doesn't have the www, so I'm just going to omit that. There we go. Simpleiskey.com. All right, and it says what uh, industry? I'm just going to say um, jobs and education and what time zone and what's the account name. I'm just going to put uh, test account, but you can put something more descriptive there. All right, I'm going to keep these all checked because I don't really care. And I'm going to say get tracking ID. And I'm going to accept the terms of uh, service or whatever. And now we have our tracking ID and the script that we need to install on our website. But there's a, there's a different way to install it, and it's much easier, and I'm going to show you that right here. So to install Google Analytics, all we have to do is click on Plugins and click Add New. After we do that, just type in Google Analytics, A-N-A-L-Y-T-I-C-S, and Search Plugins. And the one that I'm going to install is Google Analyticator. It's kind of hard to say, but... Uh, we can go ahead and click Details, and we can see that uh, it's been downloaded 2.7 million times, so that's a lot of times. And we're going to click Install Now. And by the way, this is the easier way to install it. That's why I would recommend WordPress, because uh, it has these sort of plugins that you can uh, do and install things really easily. All right, so then we're going to Activate Plugin. And after we do that, we're going to go to Settings, then Google Analytics. And what we're going to do is we're going to click here on the Click There button. And it says uh, the apps would like to view your Google Analytics data and press Accept. All right, and then we're going to actually double click on this and we can right click and press copy and close it right click and paste it in this code and press save and continue this is so it's like sort of like a password all right and now it says google analytics is currently disabled so what we're going to do is we're going to enable it and it's asking which uh Google Analytics UID, uh, and you're going to want to do it on the website, on the account you just created. So that was simple as key. And uh, there's a whole bunch of settings here that you can uh, go through in a little while. And then we're going to click Save Changes. Save Changes. All right, so now Google Analytics is enabled, and the changes are saved. And in a little while, it's going to tell us that the tracking is installed. So there it is right here, tracking installed. You may need to refresh this page a couple of times and wait maybe 5 or 10 minutes for that to happen. And once that happens, then we can go to reporting right here. And we can see uh, the uh, all the data. So we can see all the visits and everything and see if anyone's on uh, on real time and uh, we can just see a whole bunch of uh, things like that. So, so one thing to note is that it doesn't uh, record any past data. It only can record future data because it wasn't installed uh, in the past. It's only going to be installed in the future. So you're going to want to check back tomorrow and the next day and then the, the day after that and see uh, how many people are coming to your website and everything like that. How many people are coming to your website, where they're coming from, are they coming from Google or Facebook or Twitter or uh, YouTube, 
and what pages they're visiting. So Google Analytics is really cool uh, for finding out information like that and it can really help out with your marketing. Um, if you want to see more videos on how to create a website, you can go to tyler-more.com and uh, you can read my blog, get my free book, or click create a website and see any of uh, the websites that I've created step by step with no steps skipped. Once again, thanks a lot guys. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.